Hello, ladies and gentlemen. This is Franco from My IT and Cybersecurity Journey. I'm back with another video. I've been gone since April, but it's for with for Duke uh, for good cause. So as you can see, I have passed the RHCSA EX 200, also known as the Red Hat Certified System Administrator exam, which is one of which is Red Hat's, I'd say, most beginner exam for getting into RHEL or also known as Red Hat Enterprise Linux. So this is the operating system a lot of higher end enterprises end up using. And as you can see, I passed by 33 points. Um, I'm kind of surprised I only passed by 33 points considering I got, you know, over 100% on six of the objectives and then, you know, an 80% on the other two. I guess the containers really killed me. I'm really bad I did I'm really mad. I, you know, I know exactly. I, I know. I'm. I know exactly the amount of questions I missed, uh, and what they were asking specifically. Uh, I will say though, I'm pretty sure the container section glitched out on me in the exam because I was having some really weird issues, and I still had like, I still had about an hour on the exam, and I, I tried troubleshooting it for about 15 minutes, but I couldn't really figure it out. Usually, I've had it happen to me before, like in my lab environment, but it was really weird. I couldn't really get it to work uh, properly. So I just left as much as I the instructions I could and as you can see I still ended up creating a 200 uh, 30 33% so Just a tip when you do the exam if you don't know how to do something do as much as you can of it because obviously it's going to get great So How did I pass right my strategy? Uh, for all my certifications as you guys know typically was to watch a video course and take notes in obsidian This certification however was a bit different I went old school and I took handwritten notes uh, for the chapters. I didn't take too much detailed notes because I didn't want to go and reference the notes. The note taking was more for, for it to help me remember uh, what it is that I was learning. Instead of going back and referencing my notes, uh, the Red Hat exam, since it's hands on, you know, when you're taking the exam, you don't really have access to the internet like you do in the real world, right? Um, so it's kind of preparing you for jobs that, you know, in which you're going to be put up, you know, with rail systems and, you know, the, the enterprise will have a lot of in-house tools that, you know, that, that aren't public. And the only way to really learn those is by being able to go through the, you know, the documentation on the fly, you know, especially if you're tasked to do something you've never done before, you know, you can't really just like not do it. You know, you just got to learn it on the fly and do it. You know, you just get it done. And that is the focus of the RHEL exam. You know, in my opinion, it's teaching you how to learn Linux the proper way. Um, you know, by consulting the man pages, which quite frankly are faster and better than Googling it. Um, and so the course, it's more of a book. Um, I, I, I always like reading from books better than video courses if I can. Uh, the only exams I won't do that for are CompTIA exams. I think CompTIA exams, like you don't really need a book for those. Those are pretty easy exams and compared to this. And I think just a video course will do because those are typically dictionary exams. that just put you in scenarios and, you know, teach you how to react in certain scenarios. But the two ebooks uh, I mainly went through are courses. The one I mainly recommend if you're new to Linux, if you're, you know, already been working with Linux for some time, if you're mid-level, higher level Linux uh, learner, is Ask Gargorius Learn by Doing RHESA Red Hat Enterprise Linux 9 book. This book is amazing. He basically has chapters over every exam objective and in the chapters, he has exercises that you do, you follow along with him. And at the end of the chapters, he has, uh, he asks you like questions of what you, what would you do in this scenario? And then he gives you labs in which he doesn't provide the solution. So you got to be able to verify your work. That is another thing that is important for the RHESA besides being able to navigate the man pages quickly is verifying your work because the way you can guarantee you're not getting something wrong is by verifying because that's how it also works in the real world is 
you know, uh, you won't be the one verifying your work. You can, but typically in enterprises, when you do a ticket for some kind of issue in a, let's say, a pre-production environment, before it's implemented, they're going to have someone else go go ahead and do what's called post-implementation verification. So they're going to verify your changes and make sure that they're done correctly. So that's what's important about this exam too, is you need to be able to verify what you've done and making sure that you've done it right. Um, so that's a big part of the exam. So I recommend this book for anyone. I think this book is probably the best uh, bang for your book. I also did Sanders book, as you can see here. Sanders book is right here, Sander Van Vogt. He's really famous. He's on, uh, he, he for the RT exam uh, and providing training materials for it. He has a course on O'Reilly. I bought uh, the course through Pearson IT, which came with this PDF and a video course, which I'm pretty sure is the same one as the O'Reilly uh, version. I'm not sure. And I would say, honestly, his is good for reviewing. I didn't really like his style of learning too much. I don't know why. I just really liked the way Asgar uh, Gori kind of went through the material. It felt more uh, like one-on-one-ish. And I don't know. I just really liked Asgar's book. It was really hands-on. And I think that's why. I mean, they're both hands-on. But the way Asgar just explains things is was superior to me uh, by leagues. Uh, and the practice exams are way harder than the ones in uh, this version of Sandra Van Vuk's book. So I would recommend that as well because if you do really hard exams, if you lab a lot, which you're gonna end up doing by following Askar's exam, the exam will actually be really easy. A lot of people think the exam is hard, but honestly, if you do something enough times, it becomes kind of second nature and that's what's true for the exam. If you practice for the exam, you know, really hard and you do it over and over and over, which this book I think does a really good job of covering that well, you will pretty much you you're guaranteed to pass the exam, a hundred percent, um, and also you're being able to you know figure things out on your own using the man pages. That's important. So those were my main two resources. Another resource I used uh, was um, a YouTube channel by the name, the name of, I believe it was Beanology. I think that was his name. Um, I would not recommend one question you will be asked on the exam is resetting the root password for a machine. That's widely known, so I don't think I'll get any flashback for uh, sharing that, but you need to be able to know how to reset a root password uh, on the exam. And the best way to learn how to do that is Beanology has a great video because the method ask I will say the method Askar provides does not work for any of the exam versions anymore because Red Hat has some weird, some weird shit going on with that. Um, I don't really know how to explain it. Sander does it too, but I think his method's a little too complicated. Beanology, if I hope I'm getting his name right. If you just look up RHSA root password, you'll find his channel. The video has like a penguin on the thumbnail. The way he explains resetting the root password is probably the best way you can go about it when you do go take your exam um so yeah i recommend both of these i recommend doing Askar's book front to back page to page and at the end he has four uh sample exams which are amazing and then i would recommend sander's book and video course for reviewing only only reviewing um i wouldn't really recommend from my in my opinion my honest opinion I wouldn't recommend reading this book page to page. I think that it's a waste of time. I got pretty far into it. I didn't really like it. I didn't really like his video course either, but for reviewing stuff after I had learned it, um, it was good. And I think that's where Sander and Asgard differ is um, Sander kind of talks to you like as if you're already very, very experienced with RHEL and Linux. Asgard, like whether you're experienced or not, he explained things which I think are which I think is good either way because it helps you connect the dots when you do go take your exam in, uh, in due time. And yeah, I mean, I can't really say nothing else. As you can see, I'm logged in to my uh, realm machine here. And that's all I can say, guys. Um, thank you so much for watching. I'm glad to 
be posting again. And that's all. Bye.